I'm being joined in by the host of Daniel Davis Deep Dive, retired Lieutenant Colonel Daniel L. Davis from Sterling, Virginia. Thank you so much for joining us on We On. What is blocking the truce to end the fighting in Gaza and the return of hostages at this point? Well, I, I think when you look at all of the factors involved, it's hard to come to any other conclusion than it's Benjamin Netanyahu who doesn't want a negotiated settlement. He doesn't want a ceasefire, which could lead to that. He wants a military victory. He's been very equivocal or unequivocal of saying that from the beginning. Uh, and you see with their actions that, you know, all going back to, I think it was back in April or May when they destroyed an Iranian embassy in Syria, uh, when they assassinated the chief negotiator for the Hamas side in Tehran uh, a month or so ago. Uh, we're still waiting to find out what Iran may do on that and uh, it continues to make a, a lot of uh, uh, comments, warlike comments about possibly going into Hezbollah, into southern Lebanon there, to potentially spread the war to there. By all accounts, it appears that Netanyahu wants to, quote, finish the job in uh, the Gaza Strip, meaning completely destroy Hamas, not negotiate with them. He wants to destroy them and then worry about negotiated settlement later or worry about the hostages later. But those things are at cross purposes. And, and if you seek to only destroy Hamas, and that means continue to kill a lot of people in the Palestinian areas of Gaza, then you're not going to get the hostages back because to get something, you have to give something. And so far, Netanyahu has not been willing to give something. And can you talk about the Philadelphia corridor? How necessary is it for Israel? And that seems to be a sticking point in negotiations. Well, it does. And I think that that's part of the evidence that Netanyahu doesn't want a ceasefire uh, because he, what he claimed in that clip you played just a second ago was that, you know, we have to control this. Otherwise, they will take the hostages out over the fence and all this kind of stuff. But look, they didn't even take it until May of this year. So from October of last year all the way through May here. They didn't have control of it, and yet the hostages didn't go out that way. So why does he suddenly suggest that now the only thing holding them back is that control of the Philadelphia Corridor? And, of course, you have Egypt on the other side saying we have an agreement. We have a peace treaty that prevents you from doing this, and that's our job to continue to do that, et cetera. Uh, so there are other ways that Israel could assure the security. There, there's creative ways if you're willing to take it. But if you don't want a ceasefire, then you stick on something and, and not willing to be budging on it, especially when that, by all accounts, is the primary roadblock to a ceasefire. Great. Thank you so much for all of that analysis. Uh, Lieutenant Colonel Daniel Davis, always a pleasure speaking to you. Thank you. For all the latest news, download the WeOn app and subscribe to our YouTube channel.